Next item on the agenda, NCR 21-013, a resolution of the Muscogee Creek National Council approving the consultant agreement between the Muscogee Creek National Council and Jeff Five. Sponsor is Representative Adam Jones III. Motion to approve, um, due pass. Representative Adam Jones makes a motion for due pass. Second. Seconded by Representative Robert Huff. Discussion, Representative Jones. Yes, I'd like to go into executive session on this. Representative Adam Jones makes a motion to go into executive session. Do I have a second? Last call for a second. Any second from the committee? With no second, that motion will receive no action. Back to the main motion on the floor. Do pass. Representative Adam Jones, you have any more discussion? Yes, I'd like to visit with Jeff Fife, please, and bring him to the podium. Mr. Fife, would you come to the podium, please, sir? Good evening. Good evening. So I'd ask Jeff to look at uh, being a consultant and visit with some of the council members as well to help us uh, as a council have some insight and direction on the McGirt, somebody that's working full time with us. I know we have some other consultants too, uh, uh, like uh, Big Fire, things like that, but um, I think he'll be an asset to our council and give some direction. And so if you have any questions, I'd, I'd like for you to ask Jeff now as well. All right. Thank you. Jeff, would you like to say anything while you're, while you're up here on the podium, sir? Well, I, I would add that uh, I believe we are, as a nation, behind the curve in a lot of things. I would prefer to not discuss in open air or on an open line for concerns that Maybe some state uh, officials are tuned in. I don't know if this is a dial-in or if it's uh, your setting. But with that being said, I think there's a number of areas where we, we've, we've not set a high mark in advancing the issues the nation faces. I think my experience in tribal government could aid the council uh, in changing the pace that we're going. I would answer any questions the council may have. Again, uh, right. do you have concerns and discussion in open air? Okay, thank you, sir. Any comments from the Questions from the committee? Yeah, I, Jeff, I think you 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 probably, you probably would be a good asset to the council, and I, I've known you for a long time. You're a smart guy. You have some dollar, a lot of uh, insight in the nation and what's going on too. But uh, I will not support this bill tonight because we have a new council coming in in about three weeks, and I think it'd be, it'd be better to present to the new council. But, and it just simply wants to be good dealing with this issue with you. That's my uh, uh, concern I have at this point. Thank you. Yes, sir. And that's that's fair. Any other questions, comments? Committee, council representatives online. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Sure. Yes, Mr. Freeman, would you about sure. to? Yes, sir. Yes, I, I, I concur with uh, Rep Representative Huff. I, I think Jeff is uh, very competent, very knowledgeable, and did uh, quite a bit of work on the Reservation Commission. Uh, and and uh, we, 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 we looked at that work, work, you know, for a lot of things. But at this point in time, I think there's some other people that, have, just as Representative Jones stated earlier, there, there's other people working on different uh, parts of this, and uh, I don't know uh, what we know, what the other groups are doing for us. We don't hear any report or anything. I, 
kind of be nice to know what are or what what a kind of comprehensive strategy we do have in some of these issues. And it's, but I think it's a good thought. But I think right now, I represent or not to agree with representing Hub. Thank you. What else, sir? Any more discussion? Hearing none. Roll call vote, please. Adam Jones. Yes. Travis Scott. No. Patrick Freeman. No. Robert Huff. No. Chairman, you got one in favor and three against. One in favor, three against. NCR 21-013 fails. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda. PR 21-158. A tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation to uphold and enforce the official name and seal of the Muscogee Creek Nation. Sponsors, Representative Adam Jones III, and this bill was postponed on November 8, 2021. Thank you, Chair. Make a motion to adopt a substitute. Do pass. Representative Adam Jones makes a motion to a, a do pass for the substitute. Second. Seconded by Representative Travis Scott. Discussion. Thank you, Chair. Um, just trying to go straight with the Constitution to keep this plain. Um, we actually sent it to Attorney General to get him a review. Um, with the review that he brought it forward, uh, I guess we can ask Kyle to come forward and see. Um, Kyle, I'm sorry, Kyle. AG. I was going to volunteer. I appreciate how ready he was to get up and talk. <laughs> That's what I appreciate about that. Yes, sir, Kyle, the floor is yours, please. Good evening. Uh, I, I spoke with Roger about this on a couple of occasions and uh, you know, after the last meeting, and he wanted to go ahead and write this opinion and deal with these issues personally. Uh, since that time, I really have not had a great deal of contact with Roger with regard to the outcome or the legislation that was being presented. So gotcha. I apologize to you. We just, uh, he took it over, and that was something he wanted to do himself. Gotcha. Thank you. That's why I wanted to volunteer the other Yeah, I'm going to ask Kyle to come up, too, <laughs> so out of respect to the chief. And, um, I think the only thing that um, Roger had sent over is that the tags actually say Muscogee Nation on it. The seal says Muscogee Nation IT on there as well. But this is just giving some clarification that, um, on uh, to go with uh, the Constitution completely. So that that's why. So thank you, Kyle, AG. And then we'll ask the other Kyle to come up. And in fact, we had conversations about that exact issue and, and expressed some concerns about that exact issue especially if there is some, if there's a later date in which uh, there may be a determination to expand the sale of tribal tags, that's really something that ought to be addressed uh, if, if that issue does arise in the future. It really does need to be consistent because it's a matter of identification. It's a legal issue. And just as if someone was to present a contract where it says, you know, Muscogee Nation, Legally, that entity does not exist, and, and the individual signing that agreement would probably be exposing themselves personally to some liabilities. So we do have to kind of clean those matters up. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Let me ask Kyle. Um, Kyle Lee, you want to come on down? And... There was actually a memo today, I think. Or... Okay. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Floor is yours, please. I think I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions or provide any context to uh, legislation or the, you know, the branding that we've done this past year. So Kyle, was, there was actually a memo from Chief's office today. Is that right, Chief? Is, as far as clearing this up to? On Friday, yes, sir. Friday, we, yes. There was one sent out, um, making sure, because I know before there were two different uh, letterheads to be used, one with the one with the new branding, um, just to create, eliminate confusion. We, took, we uh, directed all employees to use the seal only letterhead and also to make sure that Muscogee Creek Nation is using any kind of documents related to the nation at all. So I know that seemed like the biggest concern, so just trying to alleviate that issue. Um, you know, really the branding is just for marketing purposes to the public, and it's used for, like, you know, shirts and advertising, stuff like that, um, not for governmental documents. And so um, hopefully we kind of clarified that confusion and we can move on. So do you, Chief, do you have a problem with the substitute? We struck, actually, the UL. URL out of there as well, and, and uh, as far as the, um, um, for the, um, oh, actually, the WW. 
the website. The website, Muskogee Nation. We struck that that line. Well, this is the first time seeing the substitute, so really, I probably need to sit down with Roger to clarify that. Um, if um, we can do that, just clarify with Roger. I mean, just make sure. I definitely don't want to undo what everything that he's already done. I agree. We can postpone this too until you know, until Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Thank you, Chief. Like a motion to postpone till Saturday. Representative Adam Jones make a mo makes a motion to postpone before to the BF and J meeting before pre agenda on Saturday. Second. Seconded by Representative Robert Huff. Any discussion from the committee? Council representatives. Roll call vote, please. Adam Jones? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. TR 21-158 has been postponed to the BF&J meeting on Saturday before pre-agenda. Next item on the agenda, TR 21-165, a tribal resolution of the Muskogee Creek Nation approving extension of the management agreement between Roots Hospitality Group, Inc., and the Gaming Operation Authority Board, GLEB, sponsored as Representative Patrick Freeman. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion for due pass. Representative Patrick Freeman makes a motion for due pass. Second. Seconded by Representative Robert Huff. Discussion. Representative Freeman. Thank you, Chair. Uh, is uh, I think uh, Chairman Ray, are you? Can you speak to this just for a little bit? I know it's just uh, it's pretty kind of self-explanatory. It's about proving an extension for the Ruth Chris uh, restaurant at uh, River Spirit. Representative hey, Freeman, Jan's here. Yep, yeah, Jan's here too. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm sorry, Jan. Yeah, sure, Jan. They're here in tandem, so we're, we're Thank ready you, to go. Thank you, Representative Freeman um, and Council Members. This is just an extension of the five-year Roots Chris agreement. Um, in the previous agreement, it automatically allowed them to um, extend their current agreement. It'll all still be the same terms and conditions. It'll be for five years. Great. Any discussion from the committee? Council representatives online. Chairman. Who said? Chairman. Lucian. Oh, yes, Representative Tiger. I can't Thank even you. see you. So. Thank you, Chairman. Ms. Tiger? Yes. Taxation. What? Taxation. Taxation. So um, that's something that it can still be worked on, so it can be amended where we can add a definition in there, which I'd rather not say online on how we could work that out. But for now, the agreement needs to be extended because that's their option to extend it with the same terms and conditions. And then if we want to, um, if we want to work on taxation within the McGirt um, perimeters, then we can amend that. Is that something that can be done, addressed, looked at sooner than later, please? Because this has been a concern for several years. It can be, it's just that we need to lock Ruth's Chris in now. Um, I don't know if you recall, it was about three or four years ago that we did talk to them and we talked about an indemnification agreement and they were worried. Um, but at that time, we did not have the McGirt decision that we could hold in our coffers or in our arsenal. And now that we have that, I think that once we get that agreement extended, then we can um, certainly start those discussions back up with them and add some definitions and work with the AG's office and um, with their current advisors. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. You're welcome, Representative Tiger. Any more discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. ER 21-165 passes. This time, I would like to relinquish the chair to Representative Adam Jones III. Thank you, Chair. Next item on the agenda is NCA 21-153, 
Law Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of funds for the benefit of Muskogee Creek Nation's Light Horse Police Department for the U.S. Uh, Policing Services 2021 COPS Official Tribal Resources Grant Program. Equipment and Training Sponsor, William Lowe. Chairman, I make a motion for due pass. Motion due pass. Representative Lowe. Second. Second by Representative Huff. Discussion. Chief or Chief Phillips, Chief Hill. I'll defer to them, Chair. Yes, sir. Chief, want to go over this grant or this bill? <clears throat> this grant is for uh, units that uh, are needed for our department and also uh, 154 is also the officers. They're both together in the same grant, the DOJ and the COPS grant. <clears throat> but they're for officers, equipment, training, things of that nature, uniform uh, for uh, two of the officers. And I believe they'll stay on our budget, I believe, three years, and then they'll be picking up for five. Thank you, Chief. Yes, sir. Any questions from the council? Committee? Council present? Council online. Hearing none, roll call vote. William Lowe? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. That item passes. Thank you, Chief. There's another one. Next item on the agenda is NCA 21-154, a law of Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of funds for the benefit of Muscogee Creek Nation's Light Horse Police Department. For the U.S. Department of Justice, Office of Community Oriented Policing Services, 2021 COPS, uh, Office Tribal Resources Grant Program, hiring. Sponsors, Will Lowe. Chairman, I make a motion for due pass. Motion due pass. Representative Lowe. Second. Second, and Representative Huff. Discussion. Chief Phillips, is this also just the same as what we discussed, just on a different? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any questions from the committee? Council present. And council online. Hearing none, roll call vote. William Lowe? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. We have four in favor, zero against. That item passes. Relink is the chair right back to Representative Lowe. Hello, yeah. Representative Jones. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda, NCA 21-155, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation repealing MCNCA Title 17, Chapter 8, entitled Gaming Operations Authority Board. Sponsor is Representative Patrick Freeman. I can make a motion for due pass. Representative Patrick Freeman makes a motion for due pass. Second. Seconded by Representative Robert Huff. Discussion. Thank you, Chairman. I guess, uh, Jan, can you speak to this for briefly? I think we've had a couple of conversations uh, with some council per people in a, in a kind of a, a, a work group uh, earlier last month. So, uh, Jan, if you would, please. Yes, and thank you, committee. So NCA 21 and 155 and 156, they are sister pieces of legislation. The main goal of this is to create a Muskogee Nation Gaming Enterprises LLC. This actually has been on an initiative of the Creek Nation for over 10 years. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, I know that three of you were there when we hired Tribal Strategies, Inc to come in and do a strategic plan on what we should do with some of our businesses. That never actually came to fruition, but over the last couple of years, it's been something that the Council on Gaming has talked about doing, just so that we could streamline how we practice business through gaming and so that we could also take advantage of other opportunities to expand gaming's enterprises, such as offering consulting services like some of the other tribes do. Um, NCA 21-155, actually repeals the current Title 17. And then the next bill, which will come up next, is where it would form the um, LLC by following the Articles of Organization with the Secretary of the Nation, and also approving the operating agreement. 
And so I don't know if you want me to go over that first, even though this one, 2155 is ahead of that, or if you want me to wait till we get to 156, if you have any questions regarding the operating agreement. Um, what's the pleasure of the committee? I can do either. Committee, you want to vote on this one and, or you want to discuss? The, vote, on this one. vote on this one. We'll get this one over with. Okay. Any discussion from the committee? Questions? I'd like to be co sponsor, please. I'd like to be co sponsor. Co Representative Robert Huft requests to become a co sponsor. Representative Freeman. And one thing I'd like yes. to. Yes. One thing I'd like to add is that we did talk to um, uh, the council several months ago, and we were going to try to start this in January, but we just had a lot of I's to dot and a lot of T's to cross and get through a lot of contracts and form some documents for ourselves and making task lists. And so with that being said, we actually moved the date to April 1st, and the reason is that it's easier for bookkeeping and auditing to do it in a quarter cycle. And so... If this passes, then we immediately would start the process of getting everything taken care of, and then this act would not be effective until April 1st. Representative Adam Jones would also like to be a co-sponsor. Any more co-sponsors? Any more discussion, questions? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. NCA 21-155 passes. NCA 21-156, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation, approving and authorizing the principal chief to execute and file articles of organization with the Office of the Secretary of the Nation and Commerce to form Muskogee Nation Gaming Enterprises, LLC, under the Muskogee Creek Nation Limited Liability Company Act and approving the operate, operating agreement for Muskogee Nation Gaming Enterprises, LLC. Sponsor, Representative Patrick Freeman. I'd like to make a motion for due pass. Representative Patrick Freeman makes a motion for due pass. Second. Seconded by Representative Robert Huff. Discussion. Ms. Yon. Thank you, Chair. So, committee. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, Yon. <laughs> Thank you. So, committee, uh, Chairman Ray just passed out uh, a copy of the operating agreement that would be approved through this NCA. I want to go to page five because we actually made some changes since we sent this original operating agreement with the legislation. And the way that it works is that the terms will all be three years, but the first two terms, one will be a little under three years and another one will be a little under two years. So what we're trying to do is make sure that there's always staggered terms, and those staggered terms will always start January 1st. But because this act is not going to be effective until April 1st, three of those uh, board of directors' terms will be beginning April 1st and ending December 31st, 2024, so it'll be a little bit under three. And then the other um, two members will be a little bit under two, and they'll start April 1st and end December 31st. And then everybody will start on a three-year term after that. When there are vacancies, that vacancy, the person that gets nominated for that director position will only fill out that vacancy created by this operating agreement. That way there will always be staggered terms. There won't be um, intermittent different terms. You'll always know that they start January 1st and you'll always have that term in place. Um, as far as the operating agreement goes, I don't want to bore you with going over every single thing. I know that we went through this line by line in one of the gaming board meetings. Um, but just again, um, it's a lot of the same specific authority powers and responsibilities that the gaming board already has. And then again, it also limits the gaming board um, on certain things that, such as entering contracts for more than three years. And if there's a big project like improvement to real property, um, now it will be instead of 300,000, it'll be 1 million. And to the council members that weren't at that particular meeting, we had a lot of discussion on that because we actually said maybe 500,000 just because of the big purchases that sometimes happen on an emergency basis or a weekend or whatever where we can't get to the council right away. And it was actually many of the council members there that decided it should be a million dollars as opposed to 300 or 500,000. Um, one of the big things in here is that uh, this gaming LLC will be able to create other LLCs um, to help promote other economic development within gaming. 
So as you all know, there are several tribes that consult with other tribes. Um, you know, the big ones basically Chickasaw, but our gaming operations is very sufficient and very progressive, and they have all the capabilities that some of these other consulting uh, gaming entities that have been formed from the tribe, um, they can also do the same and make additional money rather than just the gaming money that are already there. Um, one of the other things is that, seems like there was one, oh, the composition of the board. So before it was three uh, members were selected by the council, two by the principal chief, and it went through tribal resolution. Now that's been changed to how you guys have been doing your other boards, where it's two and two, uh, which is consistent with how so many of their other boards are working where two are, are picked by the chief and two are picked by the council, and then the fifth one is picked by those four. One thing that um, has changed is in regards to removal of board directors. Um, this is something I talked to the AG with about which would be easiest and also which would be best for uh, making sure that the nation is the wholly owned entity making all the shots, the big shots, I guess calling the big shots on certain things because we have to have that for tax reasons to make sure that um, we're a legit tribal LLC and the nation's the whole entity and doing things within those parameters and we've and within case law that has been um, determined. And so with that, the way that the removal of a board director will be is that um, it will be through a tribal resolution and then it, let, it lists everything that can uh, remove a board director. That's on page 11. That's consistent with Title 31. However, that tribal resolution shall be final and binding, and um, it shall not be subject to judicial review. And so if that resolution is not passed, or if it's vetoed, then another resolution can't be brought back for three months. Um, so actually, that person still can come to a committee meeting and to a council meeting and bring all their evidence of why they should or shouldn't, or why they shouldn't be removed. And then um, they'd also have that three months to also remedy anything that's going on and have support from the board or maybe not support, depending on what the situation is. Um, other than that, I think those are some of the main things. Um, the code is still, you'll see remnants of the code in this um, operating agreement, um, but it's cleaned up a lot. So in the code, there were sections that were just repeated um, a couple different times, like one whole section would be you know, on page five, for instance, and then that whole subsection would be again on page eight but with different corresponding numbers. Uh, so we clean that all up. Thank you. And do all you right. have any questions? Chairman, do you have anything to add, Chairman Ray? Good? Okay. No, sir, I believe she summed it up. Oh, well. Okay. Representative Adam Jones has a question. Jan, one question I had what about purchase of real property? It is not in here. We felt like that uh, historically the council hasn't allowed that, and so we just kept it out for now. Um, we thought that we would go, um, actually, there are a lot, lot of limitations on um, this new LLC just because we want to be transparent, and as things progress in a, in a positive manner, it may be that we come back to the council and ask for additional things, um, but real property that's not in there. Thank you. And, and just to be clear, um, the next three months, we will be coming back if this passes with additional legislation. There's things that we'll just find out as we're taking care of everything. So um, I think one of the things that uh, is probably a question that may have come up or not is the budget. So the budget was passed um, for GOAB, and in the cab, it usually always says, you know, unexpended funds will return back to the Treasury. And so once this goes in place, those funds either we'll wait till the end of October or if there needs to be legislation saying this amount, you know, automatically goes back to the treasury because we're not gonna use that, then we'll work on that. And then just anything else, we'll make sure and bring it to um, the council for transparency. And I just assume there's gonna be things that will come up as far as changing some agreements. Um, some of the agreements, we can write our own resolutions to say um, that it automatically transfers over to this new entity, but some of the big ones, such as the BOK loan agreement, will have to make some changes to legislation. Any other questions, comments, Chairman Ray? Representative Jones, along those lines on real property, on the limitations on our board authority, 
We are not allowed to enter into any lease or any agreement for the use of real property or space within any of our gaming facilities within this operating agreement as well, too. So cannot cannot purchase property and can't enter, in it, enter any, into any leases as well. Thank you. Comments, questions? Go back to your co-sponsor, please. Thank you. Representative Robert Huff and Representative Adam Jones would like to be co-sponsors. Representative Freeman? Yes. Outstanding. Any more comments, questions? Committee, council representatives in attendance? Online? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. The four in favor and zero against. NCA 21-156 passes. At this time, I would like to relinquish the chair to Representative Adam Jones III. Thank you, Speak or thank you, Chair. Uh, next item on the agenda is NCA 21-157, a law of Muskoka Creek Nation amending MCNCA Title 37, Subsection 2-203, to alter the distribution of funds. Sponsor William Lowe. Chair, I can make a motion for due pass. Motion due pass. Representative Lowe. Second. Second. Representative Huff. Discussion. Thank you, Chair. Chief Hill, would you like to discuss this matter, please? Thank you, Chair. Representative Lowe. Um, it's basically the same thing. What we did for this year 2020 and 21 just kind of get us back on our feet, you know, due to the flood pandemic, something to help us out. Um, hopefully with the budget as well. If there's any, if it's all the numbers, I can probably provide that information. Any questions from the committee? Council members present. Council members online. Roll call vote. William Lowe? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. That item passes. Link was chair back to Representative Lowe. Hello, Representative Jones. Next item on the agenda, NCA 21-158, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation approving a continuing budget ordinance and approving for appropriations and authorization for expenditures for FY 2022. Sponsors, Representative Robert Huff. Motion to adopt. Representative Robert Huff makes a motion for due pass. Second. Seconded by Representative Travis Scott. Discussion. Chief. Chief Hill. <clears throat> Thank you, Representative Hill. Uh, this just new, another continuing ordinance, just in case if uh, the cab doesn't get uh, approved this, this month. This would help us carry on for the next quarter. So, Chief, any discussion, comments, questions from the committee? Council representatives in attendance online. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Robert Huff? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. NCA 21-158 passes. On to referred legislation. We actually have referred leg legislation this evening. Yes. Has it been seen? Oh, disregard. We don't have any referred legislation. Sorry, folks. I looked at, I read it wrong. So no referred legislation, other business. Do you have any other business? Chair, I'd like to add a... I want to add this to the agenda, 21, 
That's 170. Representative Adam Jones would like to add 21-170 to the agenda. Second. Seconded by Representative Robert Huff. Any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Adam Jones? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. TR 21-170 will be added to the agenda in numerical order. TR 21-170. A tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation confirming the nomination of Roger Wiley to serve as the Chief Judge of the District Court of the District Trial Court of the Muscogee Creek Nation. Sponsors, Representative Adam Jones, the third. Motion to pass. Representative Adam Jones makes the motion for due pass. Second. Seconded by Representative Robert Huff. Discussion. Representative Jones. Give time to the Chief. Chief Hill, sir. I don't know about that. I broke my pen somewhere. <clears throat> um, called the uh, case load and I talked to uh, Attorney General Mr. Wiley to see if he would be interested in serving on as a chief judge for nomination. What up, Chief? Questions, comments? If this legislation passes, the full council will interview Mr. Wiley during pre-agenda. Any discussion? Comments? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Adam Jones? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. TR 21-170 passes. Next item in other business, GOAB. Chair, make a motion to go into executive session. Second. Representative Robert Huff makes a motion to go into executive session. Seconded by Representative Adam Jones. All Creek citizens. Any discussion? Comments? Roll call vote, please. Robert Huff? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Chairman, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. We'll be in executive session at 7.31 p.m.